This video is sponsored by PCBWay, a leading company specialized in the manufacturing of professional PCBs. New customers that register on PCBWay site get 10 PCBs, 2 layers, for free. The build time is only 24 hours, with a typical shipping time from 1 to 3 days. Upload your Gerber files on the site, check the technical specification for manufacturing, and then just wait. Subscribe to the I Can Solve the 2019 and win up to $800 in price. Check this out. I tear down this motor from my printer. It is a stepper motor. It is a DC 15 volts, 30 ohms, and with 7.5 degrees per step. I would like to know where are the coils and to build a simple control by simple switch and diodes. So basically I turn down the color of the wires and with a multimeter I check what are the resistors wire by wire. I found two coils. One is the between the brown and black with a center tap in the blue wire. The other one is between orange and yellow with the center tap in the white. So this is a model of stepper that is called unipolar because you have a center tap in the middle of the coils. And the rotor is a simple a magnet that is uh, moved by the magnetic field produced by these coils. So if we put a positive voltage between here and here the current will flow like this and move the motor in that way. Otherwise in the opposite sense. So let's see a simple demonstration of the principle. This is the stepper motor in which I put back four switches and four diodes in order to avoid over voltage when the button is released. So let's try to put a sequence of two switches of the same coil. If I made a sequence grey and black of the same coil, voila, the step motor is rotating 7.2 degrees each step. If I put a sequence on the other winding, let's say red and green, voila, the step motor is rotating in the other direction. So with simple four switches I am able to drive this stepper motor, the unipolar type. So by substituting this manual switch with a MOSFET or bipolar I can realize a simple control for the step motor. So this video shows how it's simple to reverse engineer the coils by simple measure the ohmic value between wire to wire and found the electric diagram.